Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So before we start, I actually want, wanted to say that this is not really a tutorial on how to remove your background without a green screen. Well, it sort of is tutorial, but really it is a review of this program that lets you do that. And this video is just me telling you my thoughts about the program and to see and to show you if it works or not. So yes, this is not a tutorial on how to, you know, remove your background um, properly. Like this is just me uh, reviewing a program that does it and seeing if you know it works and if it's worth it so right now uh, you're seeing my webcam so if you actually wanted to remove your background like a lot of twitch gamers do you see them when they stream on youtube or they have sometimes a lot of streamers they have a green screen on and they remove their background and just their their head and their shoulders are showing and the game is underneath them there's no box anymore you can't see their room or wherever they're playing it in so if you do want that green screen effect but maybe you don't you can't afford one or you just can't and, you know your setup doesn't allow you uh, to, to put one on which a lot of people you know have that problem so uh, this is a program that was recommended to me by my network to review and to try it out it's called TriDef smart cam so right now you're seeing my webcam and just recording through OBS and TriDef smart cam is it's it acts as another webcam on your computer but it has the effects that it can do so it actually does a lot of things it can remove your background like a green screen does it can replace it with another picture on your computer or like they give you a bunch of landscapes or it can blur your background like what you know professional vloggers you see in their videos where their face is clear but their background is blurred out you know that, that cool bokeh effect it's called a bokeh effect the blurry background effect so it can do those three things but if i show you right here It doesn't really work that well. <laughs> so this is the blurred background or bokeh effect that it, you know, it can do. Uh, it, you can judge for yourself what it looks like, but right now, in my opinion, I don't think I would really want to do a full video vlog using this, using this effect right now. So, um, to give credit to it, it does blur the whole background. None of my, my whole background, as you can see, is blurred out right here, and my face is clear. But the problem with this program is. The edges of my face, ever since I have uh, headphones on, it looks very strange, and uh, it it sort of works out. But my headphone, there's either there's blurs right there, as you can see, there's a blur right there. My my hand looks very weird if I bring it out, because uh, mind you, this is all just software, so of course it's not going to be perfect, but still, it still looks very strange. So I'm pretty sure what it does is. I'm assuming it just scans my my webcam and scans the video and it tries to remove or blur out anything that's in the background and tries to keep everything that's in the foreground which is your face. I, I don't know if it scans for faces or shoulders. I don't know how it works, but I mean it's okay. It works fine, but my in my personal opinion I find it honestly better just to not do this effect at all and to just sort of wait till you find the money to buy a green screen and actually do that or wait till you have the money to buy a DSLR if you want to have the blurry background if you're a vlogger and not a gamer because in, in my opinion it's better just to have your normal webcam and just crop out the, the sides and have like a very small face cam rather than doing this effect because it just doesn't look too professional and people will find it strange and they might not even like the video because of the weird effects that's going on with your face and stuff. So, but that is just the blurry background. So, this is what it looks like. And, um, yeah, you can judge for yourself, I guess. But in my opinion, it just doesn't look that professional. So, next we have the replace background feature, which does what it, exactly what you think it does. It replaces my background, and now I'm in a beach, apparently. So, uh, they give you a bunch of preset ones. I think there's, uh, there's six here that preset, uh, pictures that they give you. There's a beach, uh, a bridge, the desert, the Great Wall of China, uh, a forest, snowy forest, and just, uh, nature landscapes here. So, I mean, it is very fun to play around with, and, um, honestly, I think this is, uh, I think this is better if you're just Skyping and if video chatting with friends and you want to show them, hey, I got the, I don't have a green screen, but look what I can sort of do and, you know, play around with this and be like, oh, I'm in different places now. So, uh, this program, the replace feature, I feel like has more use to it and the use is no, not for videos. It's just to play around with. So that goes to show you what the program's about. But cool thing that they give you is you can add any picture from your computer on as your background. So as you can see, if I add a picture of my face from a video. So now I'm in my room, but there's two me's. So 
Yeah, you can, I, I'm gonna, I can add any picture you want. This is my YouTube banner. I can add it too. I can add another banner that is like a tutorial banner that I made. So it's definitely fun, definitely fun to play around with and to show your like Skype call. Uh, you, you can use this in Skype as your video thing because what it does is it rec is it adds a new face cam option, a new video capture device, and you, it's called Trida Smart Cam, and it just uses your webcam that's plugged in and adds the, these effects to it. There's really no use for it for any videos because I definitely wouldn't recommend using this for videos uh, unless you're you're a comedy guy, you're you know making jokes and stuff. But I mean it's. It's fun, I guess. Now we have the feature that a lot of you have been waiting for. How does the green screen feature work? And well, here it is. And um, well, it you can judge for yourself how it looks, but in my opinion, and by the way, I'm on the best quality it can do. So this is the best it can do because there are settings you can change it in. So um, it's all right. <laughs> so as you can see, if I kind of back up a bit or move around, this part of my this part of my face here, as you can see, my wall shows up right there. My headphone cable, it, yeah. So it's 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 definitely not the prettiest looking thing in the world. So now let me just show you what it looks like when I'm recording my desktop with it. Here we go. So now uh, I'm recording uh, my desktop and my mouse moving around. This is all live right now, and here is what the program actually looks like right here. Try to smart cam. It's a pretty just a pretty small simple window. The, the program is easy to navigate, so that's a plus with it. But as you can see, uh, with my face smaller, um, it still doesn't look good, but it looks a lot better. I can move myself around with. Uh, I'm using OBS. And I really recommend it. It's really good. So now this is what I would look like if I were to be a Twitch streamer and you know stream my games and stuff. It is smaller now. So you don't uh, see the effect of the weird blurry edges as much, um, but you can still see it. And if you if people were asking like, you have a green screen or like what's wrong with the green screen, um, you you know you'd have to say I don't have a green screen. I'm using just this program. So you might be wondering to yourself, well, Justin, it doesn't look too bad. And if you use it the way I'm using it right now, where I'm on just the bottom right corner of my screen, it, it could work. But the reason why I can't recommend this is because you, it is a paid program. So I w was shocked that it's a paid program because honestly, it's better just to not buy this program whatsoever, not use it at all and just have your normal webcam and just use that and just, you know, make it really small or something. So if you, if you really don't like your background, you can just, you know, crop your face cam as small as it can be because this program, it's, it's just not worth it at all to use because it is paid and I just, I can't really recommend you guys spending your hard-earned money to get this program. But to be completely fair, I have no green screen whatsoever. My background is all like it's it's a different, it's a whole mess. I don't have a wall behind me, and honestly, it does look pretty well. As I said before, if it was free program, I would I would sort of recommend it if it was free. Um, if and if you're a beginner YouTuber, because if you're a bigger YouTuber or a bigger streamer, I really you probably should be buying green screen if you have the money. And if your setup can't you know hold a green screen, just move your setup then. But if you're a smaller YouTuber and you're starting out streaming and your audience isn't too big, if it was free program again, I think it would be okay. The program is is okay, but I just can't recommend it because you do have to pay for it. So if you do have the money and you're thinking of getting this, I recommend just maybe you know mowing a bit more lawn, shoveling a bit more driveways, and just you know, spending that extra money just to get a good green screen. So if you do want to get a green screen, I do really recommend Elgato's new green screen uh, product. So they give you actually the green screen, the green screen stand, all of that in one bundle product. And I think it is pretty inexpensive. So if you do have the money, definitely get the Elgato one. Or if you want to, if you don't want to remove your background, you want to blur your background, you're, like if you, let's say you're a vlogger, um, then I really recommend spending the money to get a really good DSLR camera with a good lens that does that blur effect because it just and the blur effect I just also it, it doesn't look that good either and the problem is if, is if you move around a lot in your videos it just looks really really bad so I'm just moving around here moving my hands and stuff it looks really glitchy the edges are weird you can still see a bit of my background the wall I noticed that my webcam or my headphones are really the problem so if I take off my headphones here um it still does an okay job. It does a better job of removing the background from my hair. So my hair is black and my my wall is white there. So I did, the contrast is probably a little bit better. But still, I don't know if I can uh, recommend this or you know say you should buy this. Um, because honestly, I don't think you should buy this. All right, so let me go back to the full webcam here. 
So as you can see now with the webcam, it does look a, a lot worse with it. And my verdict is I don't really think you should shell out the money for this program. I think you should either save up for a green screen or try to move your setup so you can fit a green screen if that is what your problem is. They do offer a seven day free trial, which I appreciate because if you just want to try it out, if you don't like it, of course, you, you didn't spend a cent on it. So uh, I'm, that's what I'm using right now. I'm using the seven day free trial because I, I didn't really want to spend money on it if i didn't like it so i mean this is what it looks like in the full screen mode um it definitely does look a little bit better if you know going back to this one if i just do the desktop but doing this one it just doesn't look you of course you wouldn't remove your background you would blur it if you were to do a full green screen i mean and it still looks just not not that good looking in my opinion if you do like it and if you try it out and your audience doesn't mind it um then you know buy it it's, it's your choice it's your videos this is just my opinion on the product um and also if you want to help me out a bit i have an affiliate link where if you do want to buy it uh you can you use my link to get it and it really does support me i'm not sponsored by them it is just an affiliate link so if you know the difference then yeah that's i just have an affiliate link but again i just i don't think i can recommend this product for really anyone small or big small because you if you're a small YouTuber, you really want to spend your money in the right places because you probably don't have a lot of it. But if you're a big YouTuber, you want really want to be more professional and this program just doesn't give that effect yet. They, you know, they might uh, update the program in a couple of years. They might improve it a lot. But again, nothing is going to be perfect if you don't have a proper green screen. Don't buy this if you have money. If you do have the money, just get a proper green screen. Or if you can't fit one, then probably move your setup or something so you can't fit one. But or just move to a wall of your house that's one solid color because you can sort of use the chroma key effect in your editing program and it works better. So hope you guys enjoyed this review of it. Hopefully I didn't trick you guys or I didn't mean for it to be clickbait or anything. This is just me showing you how you, know, how you can remove your, your background with that green screen. But I, I just don't really re recommend this program. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, uh, leave a like or leave a comment if you have any questions. If you do want to buy it, uh, definitely leave my link in the description. It really helps me out if you enjoy my content or my channel. So thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. Peace out.